One day, when bored, I decided to do something wild, something diabolical. So I started looking through my drawers and other places and found this. A tiny thing center M900. It's beautiful, isn't it? But you know what else looks nice? Mac OS. Also known as something that I will be installing on this computer. First, I wanted to open up the computer and plug in an SSD to see if the one that I own is compatible with the system. So I googled those seemingly random numbers and letters and found out that I have one of the few SSDs that don't work with macOS. Honestly, I was disappointed. Yeah. And that led me to the search for a different disk. Yeah, let's just hope that this one will have an SSD inside. Which I found in an old laptop of mine and how happy I was when I read that pretty much all SATA SSDs are supported. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. After happily plugging in the disk, I started a painful journey that some people like to call hackintoshing. While trying to find a macOS installer, I stumbled upon something disturbing. <coughs> Windows! <coughs> My version of choice is macOS 12 Monterey, which I chose because I felt like newer versions wouldn't support my device. I'm gonna be using Monterey, just to be safe. I then erased the USB stick that had Buzzite on it before. After that unfortunate event, I copied some comments from the guide and the official Apple site, and I waited. In fact, I waited for so long that I made myself some food, ate it, and came back to like 70% done. Once it finished, I did some EFI shenanigans, got annoyed and just googled ThinkCenter M900 EFI, and downloaded the file from GitHub. I felt like the installation disk was done. Uh, I think that everything should work now. So I inserted it into the USB port and forgot to press F12 and booted into Debian. Oh wait, I forgot to plug in the display cable. I wasn't supposed to boot into that. I then rebooted into the proper disk, should be this one, and got an error. Oh, it works. That's great. I think I messed up. Oh, wait, never mind. So I decided to make the EFI myself, which led me to a kernel panic, which of course I didn't record. I did some stuff off camera and now I am stuck on some entitlement message, but ChatGPT told me to wait, so I'll come back to it tomorrow. It's been like 12 hours. I don't think that it will work. As you can see, when I woke up at like 6am, it was still on that screen. So I drove to Opole, took this photo and went back home. When I got back on my PC, I did some research and succeeded with the EFI file, which I of course didn't record because I thought that it will fail again and just waste the tiny storage on my stupid MacBook Air. Why the hell is the base model 256 gigs of storage and 8 of RAM? At least mine was used and I got the RAM upgrade cheap, but nah, the storage had to stay at 256 gigs. Anyway, as you could see I was very mad and I started questioning why I'm doing all that if I already have a working Mac with a way better hardware. Content. The answer is content. But unexpectedly, this time everything worked out and I'm writing this script while it's all happening so I actually don't know if it will work out but I hope it will. And well it didn't. If you didn't know, that's actually called water cooling. That's new. This was not new, I just forgot to add resources into the EFI. You guys see this? That's a graphical interface. Isn't that beautiful? You see that? We're gonna press on this one. Okay, so after two days of trying to make everything work, I finally installed the system. Whoa! 29 minutes. Hell oh, no. no. Something finally happened, so I started recording. I can select my country origin. Of course, it's Afghanistan. Okay, so the built-in speaker works. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, you probably don't. So let's select Poland. Also, as you can see, the frame rate is Pretty nice, pretty amazing in fact. Uh, why? I don't know. We'll fix that later. Uh, set your ta Cupertino! Wait, I didn't want to share anything. It just clicked itself. But after I restarted the PC, I couldn't boot into the OS. So I used the installer USB and the terminal that's in it and fixed everything. I basically copied the EFI file from the USB to the SSD because I forgot to do that earlier. This doesn't look as good as on my MacBook. You probably notice the dock and other things look weird. That's because I had 7 megabytes of VRAM, which is less than ideal. I tried to fix it with ChatGPT because of my laziness and for literally 4 hours it couldn't do shit. So I opened a Dortania guide and did it myself and that was the solution. So the only instance of me using ChatGPT wasted my precious time. So remember kids, don't be lazy and don't use ChatGPT for stuff that you can do yourself. I fixed it by changing the graphics card data to match my HD 530 cause of course I entered the wrong one earlier. Those are the correct numbers if you care. I used open core configurator. Looking at macOS time.
So what can you actually do on a machine like that? Of course, you can play Flood Escape 2 on Roblox, which is a game that I'm no amateur at, but the frame rate makes me seem like one. You can chat and play games better than Roblox. Yeah, I use OBS Pro Steam. I really don't know what to say more, it's just macOS but on a 10 year old device. I guess Neo Fetch works, so it's basically like Linux. I know that I shouldn't have said that, but I did anyway, I don't care. I know that this ending may be disappointing to you, but I really have no idea what to do more, so yeah, like, comment and subscribe, bye.